You're watching the view. View the G View. Entertainment for you. Interviews, previews, and reviews. GViewTV.com. We're gonna start off with Doreen Samuels. Um, you know she's a legend in Jamaica, and we have lost Doreen Samuels. So we just want to pay a little tribute to her and we just run the video and just have a little quick chat about her. Say what we know about her, if you know much about her, you know, if your parents mention anything or anything like that. Do what you have to do, right? It's in her voice. Good morning, good morning. How is the morning today? It's Wednesday. Her smile. We begin this evening with news on the passing of our friend and colleague, Doreen Samuels. Doreen died at the University Hospital of the West Indies this afternoon. She was 59 years old. Doreen had surgery in recent weeks and we've been praying for her recovery. However, she lost her battle with cancer. This evening, we pay tribute to Doreen, whose career in broadcasting spanned nearly 40 years. It's a very long-stemming career. Very, very long-stemming career. And with all that she has, how do you replace that? Well, it's very hard, especially when it's somebody who you're used to waking up to mm -hmm. or somebody who you're used to, like even just in the background, you hear her voice. Right. And that's always been something that I've always heard everybody say about her is that her voice, the way how she spoke and the spokenness of her, mm -hmm. you know, her, her vocabulary, her, the way how she articulates and then the way that she kind of. It wasn't just a straight patois. Mm -hmm. She was very, she was able to blend it out nicely. Right, right. And I think that was the smoothness that everybody appreciated. Right. Richie, what about you? What do you, I just thoughts? remember like when I used to go visit my grandma, mm -hmm. um, she was always on. And I did, it was almost like, you know, we have CP24 up here. It was almost like she's on morning, noon, and night. Anytime I look at the TV, I see her. So I remember that from, from a very young age. And one of the posts I always saw was that she she never aged like people have said from your pit until <laughs> no she looked the exact same and it's very true like if you go back and see the videos from 20 years ago mm -hmm. to now she looks the exact same like she no age um so i mean it's obviously a great great loss for for jamaica mm -hmm. as a as a country you know what i mean like everybody whole. knew her and everybody loved her and it's a great loss and we just hope that you know prayers up for her family but she's those type of people you can't replace yeah you know what i mean like you try to move forward and continue on mm -hmm. but they're they're un, they're irreplaceable okay. so yeah well the great thing that i think about her was that um you know she went in to do a small reading and mm -hmm. they kept asking her to read again or read again so she kind of felt found her calling by right. accident right Right, and then it kind of led to a long-spanning career because yeah. she went in for Miss Jamaica pageant, I think they said, yeah. and then she ended up with a broadcasting right. career. So you went from left and you went all the way right. So you know, it, it's a definite loss within our community, broadcasting, TV, radio, internet. So you know, our condolences, and this cancer thing is really taking over the world. Yeah, it is. It is. Young, you know, a old, lot of people. and indifferent. Um, okay, so speaking about cancer, do you? You know, when you usually hear people say it's the food that you eat and the cancerous, the food. Do you agree with that? Do you believe that? What are your thoughts in regards to that? Cancer is a very tricky thing because right. if the babies are four, five, six months, they haven't had time to ingest those kind of foods. Right. Right. And you can say, okay, well, it's from the parents. But what about the parents who didn't breastfeed and the child still ends up with cancer? Mm -hmm. So it's for me, it's a very touchy subject because there's no right, wrong, there's no rhyme or reason. It's mm -hmm. completely, there's no discrimination. You could be yellow, pink, black, white, purple, right. young, old, and it can get to you. Mm -hmm. And there's no way to say, okay, I ate this, so I'm gonna get that, or I smoked this, so I'm gonna get that. Because yeah. there's people who are vegans and vegetarians yeah. who are getting cancer. True. True. So True. it goes on right across the spectrum. Yeah. You didn't eat no fish, you didn't eat anything processed, yeah. so how did you get it? Yeah. It, it's hard. Yeah. And, and the thing with cancer too, it's not like other diseases where you can pinpoint it to one area of the body and mm -hmm. you know what I mean? You know, say, all right, it's like a drop in your arm or your stomach or like when people say cancer, you have to ask them what kind because there's lung cancer, there's pancreatic, there's breast cancer, there's all type of cancer, like yeah. every type of cancer. Just look anywhere in your body and it's just like... But to how long it's been, you must feel that there is some, I know they have, um, what's the word again, when you go do like chemotherapy, chemotherapy and stuff yeah. and sometimes people beat it and stuff. But I would think like by now, we would have been a lot further in saving people that have cancer, right. especially like 
young young people with that like china said they haven't had time to kind of mess up their body with certain things yet so for them to get it and just like die from it it's like like we feel like we're supposed to defer further now mm -hmm. which it could be one of those things where the government has an answer or has you know what i mean means to to kind of control it but them just are say yo I just well you know for a long time they were saying cancer was like aids it's a manufactured disease yeah. that you know they're giving everybody so that you have to take the drugs so it, it's really hard to say and right now the statistic is one in three so yeah. we're sitting yeah. here there's three of us one of us is supposed to get it yeah <laughs> like it's crazy for it's, real it's the truth it's true. and it's rough it's crazy, it's true. Man. yeah so what we say is be careful pay attention and get yeah. to the doctors yeah mm. and you know <laughs> definitely for sure you know you get, never know get when out there nothing get is exercise. something you just you know get stay healthy stay healthy definitely all right, um, again, condolences to um, Doreen and her family. You know, we wish her, their family all the best during this time because it is a hard situation to go through.